Okay, this is probably a question that you will be able to do at this sort of stage that we've got here. It's 10 marks. It is pretty huge. Um, let's just try and break it down and see what's happening. So we've got a part of a curve with equation y equals x ln x. x is greater than 0. The line L is the normal to C. This is the normal here at the point here, which is E, E. It says the region R showed it in figure two is bounded by the curve C, the line L and the X axis. We're gonna show that the exact area of R is A E squared plus B, where A and B are rational numbers to be found. Okay, well, it looks like what we're doing here is we're gonna find two bits. We're gonna find the area of this curved region and we're gonna find the area of this triangle. So I think what I might do first of all is do the area of the triangle, okay? I'm gonna try and deal with first of all the area of the triangle. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. In order to do that, I need to find out the height. Well, actually, I already know what the height is because I can see the height of that triangle is E. I'm now gonna try and find out what is the distance from here to here. Well, I know that coordinate is E, so I better find out what that coordinate is. If I want to find out what that coordinate is, I need to find out what the equation of the normal is. So to find the equation of the normal, I need to find the gradient of the curve. So let's just say that again. I'm trying to find out the base of this triangle, which means I need to find out where the normal crosses the x-axis. In order to find out where the normal crosses the x-axis, I need to find the gradient of the curve so that I can then take its negative reciprocal. So our curve that we've got, y equals x ln x. We're gonna try and differentiate this. So I need the product rule. u is x, v is ln x. u dash is one, v dash is one over x. Putting that together, we get that dy by dx is equal to u times v dash, which is x times one over x is just one. And then this times this is plus ln x. Now we're trying to find out about the gradient when the x coordinate is e. When x is e, dy by dx is equal to one plus ln e, which is one plus one, which is two. So the gradient of the normal is going to be minus a half, which kind of looks good, doesn't it? It's got a negative gradient here. So the equation of the normal, it's going through the point e, e. So it'll be y minus e equals m brackets x minus e. I don't even need to rearrange this, because remember, the thing I'm trying to find out is where does it cross the x-axis? It crosses the x-axis when y is equal to zero. So I have minus e, because this is zero, equals minus a half x minus e. Okay, so I'll multiply by the, um, multiply by two up here, minus two in fact. So I get two e equals x minus e. So x is three e. Wow, all of that work to tell me that this is three e, which means that the distance between e and three e is two e. So let's say the area of the triangle is the base times the height divided by two which is e squared. So this triangle here has an area of e squared. Now we're gonna try and find out the area of this bit. I'm gonna do this whole bit now in a different color. I'm gonna try and find out the area of this. Okay, it looks like we're gonna do some integration. I've got my limits is e, but I don't know what this bit here is. So I need to try and find out what that is. y is equal to x ln x. I'm trying to find out where does it cross the x-axis, in other words, when, um, when y is zero. So when y is equal to zero, I get x ln x. This is gonna tell me two things, either x is equal to zero or ln x is equal to zero. What's the value of x that makes ln, um, ln x equal zero? Well, x would be equal to one. So we can now tell that this bit here is one. The ln, ln of one is zero. So what we're actually trying to do for this red area is we are trying to integrate between one and e, these bits, x, ln x, with respect to x. Hopefully you're looking at this and saying, great, we need integration by parts. So which of these we should take u? ln x takes priority for u. So u is ln x, v dash is x, 
integrate x and you get a half x squared, differentiate ln x and you get 1 over x. So we get uv, make sure you have your limits, which is a half x squared ln x between 1 and e, minus the integral of this, minus the integral of a half x squared times 1 over x, which is a half x dx between 1 and e. Let's just put a box around that so it doesn't get too much in the way of an already messy board. So I've got a half x squared ln x between 1 and e minus a quarter x squared between 1 and e. Okay, we're nearly there. Let's substitute in some values. If I substitute in e here, I get a half e squared ln e is 1. If I substitute in 1 here, I get 0. Then for this bit, I'm going to get minus a quarter e squared, and then I'm going to be minusing, minusing, so I'm going to plus a quarter times 1. So the total area, let's finish this up. The total area is this, a half e squared minus a quarter e squared plus a quarter, plus the area of the triangle, which was e squared. So just simplifying this, we've now got a half minus a quarter plus one. So you get five over four e squared minus a quarter. Oh, not minus a quarter, plus a quarter. Is that how the question wanted it? It says to show that the exact area is a e squared plus b, where a and b are rational numbers to be found. Let me just double check that I've got that the same as in the mark scheme. It would be a shame if I'd put that different. Yeah, very difficult question. Okay, final thing that we're here. Not a nice one either. A scientist is studying a population of mice on an island. The number of mice n in the population, t months after the start of the study, is modelled by this equation. Find the number of mice in the population at the start of the study. Okay, so easy to begin with. The start of the study, we're just going to say t is equal to 0. So n is equal to 900 divided by 3 plus 7e to the 0, which is 90. Everyone should have got that mark. Now it says, show that the rate of growth dn dt is given by dn dt is equal to this thing that we've got here. Okay, Not very nice to differentiate, but we're going to do it. It has n is equal to 900 over 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0 0.25 t. Many of you preferred to do this with the quotient rule. I don't mind that. So let's just have a look at what we've got with the quotient rule. u is 900, v is 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0 0.25 t. We're just trying to differentiate it. That differentiates to 0. That differentiates to where you've got the 7 multiplied by the derivative of the minus 0.25t, e to the minus 0.25t. So that is minus 7 times 0.25, 7 times 0.25, getting tired now, minus 1.75, e to the minus 0.25t. Okay, so putting this all together using the quotient rule, you get dn dt is equal to v u dash, great, that's just nothing, minus this times this, so that's minus 900 times minus 1.75 e to the minus 0.25t all over v squared, which is 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0.25t all squared. Simplifying this, times in the top bit 900, negative times negative is positive, 1575 e to the minus 0.25t all over 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25t squared. And it still doesn't look like this, okay? There's many ways of doing this. I think one of, somebody in the class did this in an interesting way. I'm going to do it um, where I actually take the right-hand side and I'm going to show it's the same as this thing that I've got here. This is two marks. The next bit is only worth two marks as well. So I'm going to try and show that n brackets, 300 minus n over 1,200, I'm going to try and show that it's the same as dn dt. So n is 900 over 
3 plus 7 e to the minus 0.25t, multiplying it by 300 minus n. And all of that is going to be divided by 1200. Some heavy algebra is about to go on here, okay? So I could either expand, so I'm probably going to do that. So I'm going to do this one times this. So you've got your 900 times 300. So that's 270,000 over 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0.25t. And then you've got this one times this one, which is going to be minus... 900 times 900, just making sure I don't get any extra zeros. 810,000 all over 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0.25t squared, all divided by 1,200. So I might just do that as a 1 over 1,200 here, just to save me a bit of space. Common denominator, multiply the top and bottom by this. So I've got 270,000. 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25t minus 810,000 all over 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25t squared still being divided by 1,200. Expanding this top bit, I'm going to have this times 3 minus this. So that's 270,000 times it by 3 minus 810,000. They cancel out, okay? These bits here cancel out. You've then just got the 270,000 times by the 7. So that's 270,000 times 7. So that's 189,000. Oh, sorry, 1,890,000. 1,890,000. E to the minus 0.25t all over 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0.25t squared, timesing it by 1 over 1200. Well, let's hope that that divided by 1200 is 1575. And it is. We get 1575 over 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0.25t squared, which is the same as dn dt. All that for two marks. I'm not sure it's necessarily worth it when you think about the bigger picture. Okay. It then says the rate of growth is a maximum after t months. So we've now got here, we've been told that dn dt, I think this is part c actually, sorry, part c. We know dn dt, which is n 300 minus n over 1200. We want this thing to be a maximum. Now, this is the rate of growth, okay? The rate of growth crosses when n equals 0 and when n equals 300. And we can clearly see this is a type of quadratic. The rate of growth is a maximum here, which is when n is equal to 150. Very, very difficult to spot that. So when n is equal to 150, the rate of growth is a maximum. So we're going to try and find the value of t. We're going to try and find out the time from this thing that we've got here. So I'm going to set n as 150 from our original equation that we've got. So we get 150 is equal to 900 over 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0.25t. So if I multiply that up, I get 3 plus 7 e to the minus 0.25t is equal to 900 divided by 150, which is 6. Subtract the 6 and, uh, sorry, subtract the 3 and divide by 7. And you get e to the minus 0.25t is equal to 3 over 7. If you ln both sides, you get minus 0.25t equals ln 3 over 7. So t is equal to, let's do ln of 3 over 7, and then we'll times it by 4 and take the negative we get 3.389 months. And it wants that just to the value of t, the number of months. So we should probably say 3.4 months to one decimal place. We're nearly there. It says, according to the model, the maximum number on the of, sorry, the maximum number of mice on the island is p. State the value of p. Well, if you imagine what happens to this thing that we've got here, 
as T becomes really, really, really big, this thing becomes really, really, really small and basically zero. So you would have 900 divided by three, which is 300. Now, it might not quite get to 300 because there's always going to be that extra value, so they accept the answer 299 as well. So the answer is going to be 300 mice, but if you wrote 299 for that reason, that would also work too. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Bye.